It is not many times I can say this, and it's true, but tonight Marcus Bagwell, I've seen it before, I don't want okay. to give it away, the seven-day forecast has something literally for everybody. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll all be smiling. No pressure. Yeah, no, no, no pressure. That's right. I think people will enjoy what they get over the next several days. The first thing we've got to do first, Neil and Casey, we've got to get these clouds out of here. It's been three days in a row of mainly cloudy conditions. The last time we saw a good dose of sun, well, that was on Sunday, and we've just been locked in with these clouds ever since. This is the remains of beta, and that storm continuing to move off to the east and northeast. Rain beginning to spread into the Tennessee Valley. There have been some heavy showers and strong thunderstorms across parts of eastern Louisiana, southwest Mississippi. Cloud cover for us, even though the visible picture begins to let up as the sun begins to go over the horizon, we have been left with a cloudy sky all day today. There's a live look from downtown Nacogdoches. Looks like some light mist and drizzle could be falling, and that could be happening anywhere here in East Texas. 68 degrees. Do you notice a bit of a difference to the air today? That's because we're on the drier side, which means the moisture just not as intense as what it was in previous days. So that northerly wind at 10 does make a 68 feel a little cooler. Might need a light jacket if you're out and about for this evening. The humidity values are high. That still supports mist and drizzle to develop at any point over East Texas. Here are other temperatures. 68 Naples, 69 in Quitman, 70 in Grand Saline. You're going to notice they're fairly uniform. That's because we're all locked in with the cloud covered together. So we're hanging on with it for at least one more day through tomorrow morning. Hopefully by the afternoon, things will get a little different. Just a tad warmer in our southern county, 72 in Zavala and Trinity. You're at a temperature of 73 degrees. Let's get you set for tomorrow and we start the day again with cloud cover, a mainly cloudy sky. Even by noon, I anticipate the clouds to continue to hang around by two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. The cloud cover decreasing. That's when we'll be optimistic for sunshine to return as temperatures will reach the mid 70s. So there is the remains of beta continuing to track to the northeast. The cloud cover decreasing into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. After this, we are set with some really nice weather on Friday. Just a few clouds at times, but overall a dry day with a light southeast wind over the weekend. Even a few more clouds also, but it doesn't look like anything significant coming our way despite cloud cover picking up as we head toward our Sunday. We're on a stretch of warm weather through early next week, but let me show you what's coming in the six to 10 day outlook in temperatures. This will be next Wednesday into Thursday. A big dip in the jet stream sending us cooler than normal temperatures. Get ready because it will be another taste of fall. This one looks to come through mainly dry, but it will also give us cooler temperatures than what we have seen here the last few days. So the seven day forecast 70s for tomorrow, low 80s on Friday with the sun. Look at this warm up over the weekend, even near 90 on Monday. A stronger cold front arrives Tuesday. The cooler weather settles in Wednesday into Thursday and next Thursday morning. Low temperatures look to be down in the 40s. Deep East Texas, we got some clouds through late tomorrow, and then sunshine taking over. A nice end to the week is coming. Told you, huh? Something yes. for everybody. I can't wait. Happy. All right.